Sag, hey, Sag, hey, hey, Sag, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Freak Back. So, what I uploaded yesterday, I believe I uploaded it yesterday, yeah, was your December prediction. This is your regular weekly, um, you know, reading. So, welcome back to those of you who are tuning in once again. <laughs> um, I wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to those of you, you know, who. Um, you're in the U.S. or whatever the case may be. Thanksgiving is in the next couple of days. So, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. So, you guys already know. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a general reading, okay? If you find that it does not resonate, that's okay. Do check your moon, rising, your Venus, okay? Um, so, let's get into it. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Sagittarius? And now... What do we have? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Sagittarius. Okay. Ooh, you guys got the one. This partner may be the one you have been looking for, so give it a fair chance. Nice. Um, Aries did pull this. You could be connected to an Aries. So you can have Aries in your chart. Bottom of the deck is soulmate. Perhaps you're dealing with a soulmate connection. Ooh, could be a new love. Okay, what the hell? Hmm. Let me find out, Sag. <laughs> All right. Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. Mm, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Placement. And Sagittarius. Sagittarius said, on to the next. <laughs> what is coming towards Sagittarius? In love. What do you have? Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. So you got setting clear boundaries. So some of you are keeping a player, someone who's no good at bay. Okay. <laughs> um, you have stepping out of my comfort zone. Okay. All truth will be revealed. All right. So let's see how that ties into your reading. As soon as I cut the deck, you do show up. Come on, man. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. All right. What is the overall love energy for Sagittarius? Come on, you're irking my nerves. <laughs> All truth will be revealed, bam. You're starting to realize something, Sagittarius, or this person starting to realize something. Sometimes when the Two of Swords shows up in the reverse, an argument can happen. Um, this is for those of you who may be in relationships uh, more specifically because you're no longer avoiding the issues here. You're no longer avoiding the elephant in the room. There's, It's time to have a talk. It's time to get the, the truth out. It's time to, you know, put up or shut up, <laughs> right? But the truth will be revealed. That's why that card came out. Ace of Swords is right behind that. Okay. Mm. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Ooh. Ace of Cups. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? That just flew out, guys. Sagittarius, what is coming? The Five of Cups reverse. You could be going with a Libra. Coming towards Sagittarius in love. Someone definitely has their heart chakra blocked, Sagittarius. Maybe dealing with someone who's very distracted, though. I'm kind of feeling like you could be dealing with two people. Let's come towards Sagittarius in love. What else do we have for Sagittarius in love? What is coming? The Queen of Swords reverse. Yikes. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay. And the Two of Cups. All right, I'm just going to say it just like this straight up. Sagittarius, you may be in a relationship. This person may be in a relationship, may be married, and there's new love. There's new love. Ace of Cups, someone feels as though they've met their soulmate. It's mutual, okay? Let's not deny that. It's mutual. So this person that you have feelings for, they have feelings for you too. 
a lot of you, this is a this is a um, relationship type of situation. Somebody's involved, it may be third party. This could be a long distance situation. And because someone feels as though they've met their soulmate or because they met, you know, the person for them, they're no longer putting effort somewhere else. They're no longer investing anything into their other relationship. So some of you may feel like your partner, if this is your partner, you feel like they're checked out. You feel like they're not really um, investing anymore. They're not focused on you. Their attention is elsewhere. They're making excuses. And that would be why, Sagittarius, because they're in love with someone else. You know, I hate to say it, but that's just what is saying loud and clear to me here. Okay, and someone may be very rude, very mean to their partner, treating them like crap, and this would be why. If you feel pushed away by this person, if this is your partner specifically, that's why they're pushing you away. That's why they're being mean to you, cursing you out. They're bitter, whatever the case may be, because they fall in love with somebody else. So they're giving you the cold shoulder. Um, if your person is involved, they're giving their partner the cold shoulder, <laughs> Sagittarius, because they're in love with you. Some of you, this may be a work connection. Maybe you met this person at work or you will meet them at work, but someone's definitely thinking about leaving. Three of Wands is my thinking about leaving, crossing those those waters, making plans to leave a marriage, a relationship, taking a leap of faith somewhere else, okay? Um, yeah, some of you, it's a love triangle. Three of Cups is in the reverse. Someone needs to get a divorce. They want to. All right, um, but it can't be denied that, hey, there is a soulmate connection here. There is love, love here. Mutual love here. This person is in love with you. They're not in love with who they're with. You're not in love with who you're with, possibly, if this is you. But um, the truth is going to be revealed. And the truth is that someone is giving their attention, their time, everything somewhere else. Page of Wands, there's a whole lot of flirting going on. Exchanging messages, pictures, you name it. Um, for others of you, if this is not somebody that is in a third party, you're not in a third party because this is a general reading. Um, I feel like this is someone who, although they feel this connection with you, they feel this love with you, they're ignoring it. They're ignoring it. You may feel like they're not really putting too much effort into the connection at this time. And it could be because maybe they recently got out of something. Um, or this is somebody who's kind of one of those independent, bitter types. Um, so they may come off as mean to you just a little bit. Right, with the Queen of Swords reverse, this is someone who obviously still has some more healing to do from their past. And so that's why they kind of push you away just a little bit. It's kind of what I'm getting. But bottom line, Three of Wands is here. Plans to, to leave, whatever. King of Wands reverse often shows up for somebody who, you know, they're in a relationship, but they're doing them. Okay? If you're dealing with a fire sign like yourself, Three of Cups reverse is already love triangle. Maybe this is someone you've been casual with. You want more. But this is someone who's kind of, like I said, the love is there. But they're kind of ignoring it. Justice is here. All right. So let's clarify. Oh, child. What the freak is going on, Sag? <laughs> what the freak is going on? But there's love here. There's love here. That can't even be denied. Sagittarius, I hate to say it for some of you, if you sense that this person is not really focused on you, it may be because their emotions are somewhere else. Okay, that's for some of you. What is the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius? What is the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius? The Ace of Cups is the Five of Coins, Eight of Wands reverse. Some of you may have... Um, yeah, it could be something about long distance. This could be someone who likes to travel. But you may have met this person um, and things were moving, were going great at first, you know. But as quickly as things were moving, it kind of just um, came to a screeching halt for some of you. What is the, uh, but there's definitely a past life connection here. What is the Five of Cups reverse for Sagittarius? Almost like you can't move forward as much as you want to or something like that to a Swords reverse, a Hermit. You guys can't go as far as you want to. And like I said, because there could be a third party. But there's a whole lot of thinking going on. Five of Cups reverse. Ten of Wands reverse. Someone may still be working through some baggage, possibly. 
but they're gonna communicate Sagittarius they will they want to see you page of wands is my traveling to see you you know wanting to see you wanting to get together page of wands for Sagittarius so you guys will see each other Sagittarius I see the communication will be improved um Pisces Cancer Scorpio is showing up here strongly Virgo Gemini so they're going to take matters into their own hands and they will um they will communicate with you the king of cups is here this could be someone who has children but king of cups tells me this person the person that's involved has deep feelings for you so what is the eight of coins trust issues someone may not be putting in the work because of trust issues for some of you that could be the case so as much as they love you they like you they have a lot of trust issues and that's the that's the obstacle they gotta overcome it maybe it could be you sag okay you need to overcome your trust issues because there's an opportunity here for love with this person okay um but i mean if trust issues someone is kind of ignoring this opportunity the universe is handing you this 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 cup of love <laughs> but it's being ignored <laughs> what is the queen of swords reverse some of you, like I said, you feel like you may feel like this person's a little mean to you at times. Like they just kind of <sighs> six of cups, ten of cups, the temperance card. I feel like this is someone who maybe they kind of treat you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like they tease you a lot. Some of you, they tease you. They make fun of you, um, but not like literally. But it's because this person really is very in love with you. But they're trying to control their feelings. They're trying to control themselves. What the hell? What is the two of cups for Sagittarius? But some of you, you could just tell this person has a thing for you. And you could tell. They're not fooling anybody. Be a Taurus. They're not fooling anybody. It's just their trust issues are in the way right now. So what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius, is that um moral of the story there's love here okay whether it's third party or not doesn't matter but there's love here this person's going to communicate with you they're going to want to see you um because the ace of cups is upright i do feel like for a lot of you this person is going to finally express their feelings to you or tell you how they feel is what i feel sagittarius um and that's what you know stepping out of my comfort zone is about i feel like they're finally gonna express their feelings to you Sagittarius finally okay why because a page of wands is here the ace of cups is here the two of cups is here but I feel like they're going to tell you this in person Sagittarius so you guys are going to talk in person they're going to really pour out their heart to you whatever someone may be staying for the kids Sagittarius they're about to reach out Sagittarius, what does this person want to tell Sagittarius? I'm here to stay. Hmm. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? <sighs> See, I'm cheating on you. So for some of you, like I said, if this is your partner and you suspect that their attention is elsewhere, it is. Okay, they are. They are stepping out and they may be in love with someone else. Okay, but you have let's start fresh and recent breakup or divorce but maybe they went through a recent breakup or divorce and that could be why they're not really you know they have trust issues maybe they were cheating on okay i'm not over my past <clears throat> think of you 24 7 anything else anything else for these sagittarius <laughs> Ooh, I'm craving you. So they're they're craving you, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, so someone may be staying for the kids or something like that, but I mean the love here can't be denied, Sagittarius. It just can't be. I'm sorry. Like it can't be denied. This is your soulmate, Sagittarius. If you're wondering, it is. Alright, so that is what I have for you. <laughs> love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time.